In the first half of the 20th century, the Minnesota Golden Gophers had been a blue blood football school, winning 17 Big Ten titles and six national titles, plus another one in 1960. But for decades, the program had been all but dormant, winning exactly one Big Ten title the rest of the century. But the Gophers showed some life when a free sports star named Daryl Thompson from Rochester, Minnesota, known for producing hockey players, not running backs, turned down Iowa, Oklahoma, and UCLA to go to the U, as it's known in Minnesota. Once on campus, Thompson wasted no time showing what he could do. In his first game, as a third stringer, he finally got in the second half. He ran for 215 yards and four touchdowns. Guess who was first string the next week? Thompson became the first player in the Big Ten to rush for 1,000 yards as a freshman and as a sophomore. Thompson broke just about every Minnesota rushing record and a few Big Ten marks to boot. He set another record with a 98-yard touchdown against Michigan, a pretty hard mark to beat. With Thompson carrying the ball, the Gophers took home Paul Bunyan's act in Wisconsin three times, deployed to Rosedale once, and even beat second-ranked Michigan, who won the Wolverines' perfect season and claimed the brown jug for the first time in almost a decade. It wasn't quite the glory days, but it was a long way up from the basement. Thompson and his wife, Stephanie, have raised four children, all of them college athletes, two volleyball players, an Indiana basketball player, and yes, a football player at Minnesota.